Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever time you are at. We are early in the afternoon, actually, at the moment. It's just myself, Mr. Big Z, back with another episode of the Real Wrestling Show Dash Blog. Uh, Dorsey's shirt and I heard again this week. Uh, unfortunately, he's off with a bit of a whingery. Um, yeah, he's getting better, though. Everything's looking good, so he should be uh, should be back on the blog very soon. Hoping it was this week, but it's not. I was hoping he'd do it all this week, but he's not. But uh, yeah, what we do on here is a rundown of Dynamite, a rundown of Rampage, and any specials, which is this week we have got uh, Double or Nothing, which I will run through as well. So I've got Rampage, Di I've got, Ram I've got Dynamite, Rampage, and uh, that as well. So there's going to be a lot of notage, but hopefully we can run through this pretty quick. Um, my eye is killing, so if I'm passing with the old time, it's because I got something in it earlier. Uh, but kicking it off, Dynamite. The one before Double or Nothing, we had Orange and Kyle Fletcher. It was a pretty great match, this was. Uh... Brutal sheer drop brain buster by Kyle. Kyle dive pushing orange into the gash. Uh, guardrail was pretty harsh. A bit of a bump there. Um, Kyle pushed off the top onto the apron. Uh, dodgy DT, DDT on the apron by orange. Beach break on the outside. Delayed suplex by Kyle gets two count. Uh, count out bit was pretty good. Uh, Slum dog and the swinging DDT can. Counted into the half Nelson by Kyle. That was nice. Stun dog and then a swing in DDT by Orange actually connects. Gets two count Orange. Uh, catching Orange spinning. Catching or uh, Kyle catching Orange into a spinning Mikanuku driver was sick. Uh, by Kyle Tombstone plus a spinning Tombstone by Kyle was nice. Uh, gets two count Super Mikanuku driver by Kyle was fucking sick. Then a sneaky roll up for the finish for Orange Casty. Um, I went with Kyle Fletcher, man of the match. A pretty great match, and I had higher number with nine moments. So, yeah, tell me what you think. Put in comments below. If I can read them, if I could read, then I would respond. Uh, next up, we had a promo, but with Rene backstage. Stark says that he was in full control last week, fed up of uh, not having anything done, so he's going to take matters into his own hands. Juice and Jay attack. Chair to the Starks of back. Uh, to the back of Starks. Says beef is not finished. We'll say when it's finished, Ricky. And all that jazz. Then we had another promo video. Jungle Boy Hype. Uh, gonna say says that he's gonna be the next world champ. Then we had another promo. FTR says that Jay Lethal and Jeff Jarrett outsmarted us, but their luck's gonna run out on Sunday. They're a bunch of TNA rejects, which got a bit of a pop from the crowd. Uh, calls him a calls Karen a bitch. Says that they should call Dixie for a job soon, which again I think got a little bit of a pop. Briscoe out, Dax apologises. Briscoe slacks, slaps Dax's hand and then slaps him in the face. Lethal and Jeff Jenner come out. Briscoe elbowed Karen straight across her throat. Pushes Sanjay out the, out the way. Slaps the fuck out of Jeff Jenner. And then basically tells Jay Le Lethal, yo, I'm fed up with this bullshit. Like, get it dealt with. Uh, one more promo before the next match, which was backstage with Rene, Sammy G. Uh, Rene says, MJF said, the deal is still on. Um, Sammy G says, no, I am not leaving my dream. I'm I'm not going to lay down. I'm living my dream. But next up, we had a trio's title. Uh, stipulation is one in, one out in the trio's title. And it was House of Black versus AR Fox, Blake, Christian, or Christian Blake, and Grand Metalik, or Metalik as he is now known as. Uh, it's a pretty good match this was. Uh, Brody catching Blake dumping him that was quite nice stiff leg sweep by Malachi uh, Metalik spinning on the rope doing a double drop kick that was nice double dive Blake lands in the, like a side flat line everyone fighting on the outside implosion splash by AR uh, Fox to everyone terrible face stomp by Billy Bully Buddy uh, Texas Clover knee bar hanging finish by the respective members of the House of Black. Brody's finish is pretty cool, just hanging him on the apron. I like that. Uh, man of the match, I went for Blake Christian, who's pretty good. Four moments. Then we had another promo on backstage. BCC, Brian Danielson says, Claudia and Utah are going to win gold. We are the elite. Mock says, the BCC are the best. The best. The best. Where's Ortiz, man? Uh, then we had an in-ring promo. MJF says, four years ago, nobody knew who we were. We are AEW. He says a bit more than that, but I've just broken it down a little bit. Uh, says he's bored of the lack of competition, sick of the fans' lack of respect, threatens to leave in 2024. 
Darby comes out and says that he's nobody. Uh, says and that MJF's still nobody. Says nobody created me. I am me. Low blow by MJF. Sammy G comes out to make a save. Jungle Boy comes out, stops MJF from leaving on the ramp, and holds up the belt to display. I am the next champion, which I don't think is gonna happen. Uh, then we had Wardlow Cage uh, ladder match hype. And then another match, which was Taya V's Lady Frost, who has been having a bit of a run in ROH. Uh, Frost walk over, Taya clotheslines her, taking her out. That was nice. Jaden laid a mark on a ramp, just watching on. Sloppy Irish whip to Frost, but I think that was more Frost's fault. Uh, walk over cannonball by Frost was very nice. Spinning crossbody by Frost, or the Tonio as they call it. Uh, spear by Taya, sit out backdrop by Taya, curb stomp by Taya, titty boom for the finish, aka the road to Valhalla. Uh, two moments. I won my Lady Frost man of the match. It was an okay match, I was, but nothing spectacular. More of a storyline front for Jade's purposes. And we had a promo backstage. Tony Khan announces Collision's first date and venue is in Chicago. Uh, so speculation on CM Punk coming back in there is probably quite high. Uh, then we had a, a video on a comedian in the crowd, no idea who he was because he didn't put anything across the screen. For those people who couldn't hear, they just seen some guy clapping in the crowd. So, uh, promo with Alex Marvez backstage. Hangman says, "And me and Kenny are more. Uh, we're not so much friends, but I've realised we're family. BCC are going to pay for their sins in blood." Uh, then we had Nimring promo. Adam Cole and Jericho contract signing for the unsanctioned match. Going to break your legs. Blah blah blah. blah your hands. Sign it, bitch. Jericho, you're full. Uh, calls Adam Cole a fool. Says it's five of us, two of them. Adam Cole then basically brings out Sabu. So Sabu is going to be in their corner at the pay per view. Sabu comes out, chair to Matt Menard, and that's about it. Hater. Next up, we had a promo Hater and uh, Hype. Tony and Hater build for the match at the Double or Nothing pay per view. Then we had Daniel Garcia versus Roderick Strong. A bit of a kind of clash after the fallout of the last segment. Uh, Roderick Strong into steps, Roderick Strong into the turnbuckle and off the apron, curb stomp by Daniel Garcia, backdrop into the gut buster, slam by Rush, uh, Rod Strong, that was nice, leg trap backbreaker by Roderick Strong was nice, rock button on Daniel Garcia gets two, bar, uh, two count, gut, gut buster, release suplex into a backstabber, was sick by Roderick Strong for the finish of the match, Roderick Strong wins, Roderick Strong man of the match. Uh, three moments. Very good technical match, and Garcia was a part of it once again because he is a very, very good technical wrestler. Next up, we had a promo video. Willow talks about the New Japan Strong Style Champion, the first of its kind, um, in a match against Mercedes Monet, who hurt herself by losing the balance coming off the corner, uh, twisted an ankle or broken her ankle of, of some sort. So Willow is the, the first champ. Next up, we had the main event of Dynamite's Evening, which was for the ROH titles, which was Claudio and Yuta versus the Lucha Brothers. Um, Brian Danielson was on the comms, and it was a great match as well, so got to be fair, reasonably high number. Uh, double dives by Lucha Brothers, Penta off the top to the outside, Phoenix dive off uh, to the outside of the ropes, made in Japan by Penta, shocks Brian Danielson on comms. Uh, European to Phoenix on the corner to stop him from... Doing a move with Penta by Claudio. Uh, fast tilt word by Claudio. Fast tilt world by Claudio. Uh, leg figure four by Uta as a submission. Big swing into Uta's drop kick. That was nice by BCC. We got a two count. Uh, Phoenix counter from the power bomb was sick as he as he gets power bombed up with his arms crossed. He just rolls over the top and then takes out uh, Claudio with a code red or a Canadian. I think it was Canadian. That was very cool. Uh, Powerbomb backstabber by Penton, I was sick. End of the match um, spot was a Gorilla Press to Phoenix, who then gets kicked by... Uh, gorilla Press by Claudio to Phoenix, who gets kicked by Penta, then dropping him on to Yuta, then setting up for the hop-up Canadian Destroyer to Claudio by Penta, then Phoenix hits a sheer drop pile driver for the end of the match. Um, no, they don't. Just before that, pile, uh, pile driver Phoenix to you and gets two count. Then there's an ex assisted long dart by BCC gets a two count. Then the Bucks are out. They hold Claudio back from stopping the pin. And the next move is going to happen, which is a fear factor double team by uh, the Lucha Brothers for the finish of the match. Great match. Lucha Brothers win. Phoenix man of the match. And I'm on my seven moments. After the match, Mox comes out says that Sunday we're going to beat you 
down. Gonna be bloody. So that would be nice. Um, so yeah, Dynamite was um, was a pretty good show. Uh, gonna move on to Rampage pretty swiftly. Uh, first up, we had a trios match. The Acclaimed in Billy Gunn versus Roosh 10 and Drillistico. Pretty poor match this was. Didn't really enjoy this one. Uh, Max gives his chain to a fan. That was pretty cool. Like that. Uh, step up Huracarana by Drillistico. That was nice. Fall away by 10. Fall away by Billy. Uh, Billy into the steps. Acclaimed into the guardrail. Chops in a corner by the bad guys. Poor spot on the apron by Drillistico. Uh, Bowens into the crowd. Terrible chemistry by the bad guys. Because I forget what their name is. Inglingle Gog Inglingle. Uh, Billy hands bleed in somehow, not sure. Uh, famous uh, gets two count by Billy. Something cheats. Oh, Jose cheats. Uh, Drillisco into the guardrail. Sesame Timbers by Bowens. Terrible discus by 10. Uh, diving Lumbo by Drillisco. Mic drop. And at the arrival of the mic drop for the finish of the match. Uh, the acclaimed and Billy win. I won the Billy man of the match. And just the two moments after the match, Bowen's talking. The trio decision, the, the division calls out the House of Black. Never bet on Black. Everybody loves the acclaimed. Next up, we had the Ass Boys and Ethan Page versus some guys in a squash match. Uh, Ass Boys double team for the finish. Why? I don't know. Eagle man of the match. After the match, they talk about the Hardy Boys says uh, something about the partner Isaiah is out Hardy's then come out Isaiah comes out and basically says a hook is going to take his place hook comes out and it's all groovy baby next up we had a promo backstage with Lexi Dustin and Keith Lee talk Battle Royal uh, and talk Swerve and Cage then we had next match Nyla and Marina Shifuya of which we haven't seen Nyla for a while so nice to see her back versus Sheeta and Britt Baker that was a pretty good match as well. Not many notes. Um, Britt stamping on Shafia's foot. Obviously because she wrestles bare, barefoot. Front kick by Shafia. Nice. Uh, sending Britt right across the ring. Choke slam by Nyla. Gets a two count. Uh, Shida multiple elbows to Shafia. Again looking a lot, lot more aggressive by Shida. That's pretty cool. Uh, low bridge to Nyla. Shida kick. And then the lock jaw for the finish by Britt Baker. So she did and Britt win. I won a Sheeta man of the match and four moments. After the match, the outcasts come out and attack Jamie Hater. Which is bunk. Next up in a promo, best friends and QTV and Hope. Why the hell have I written that? Best friends, QT Marshall, Hope. I don't know what that means. Make a visit as you will. Then we had the main event of Rampage's evening, which was... Big Bill and Moriarty versus the best friends. Uh, pretty good match this was as well. I think this is. I think that's all I've got. Yes, yeah, that's all I've got for that. Uh, Lucha Brothers. And a few others are in the crowd watching the match. Because um, there's obviously going to be an open title for Orange Cassidy's title. So they're all there in speculation, which most of them are tag teams. Um one-handed double suplex by best friends. Trent sat over the turnbuckle. Oh, what? Trent. I don't know what that says. Uh, check into the guardrail. Bill not. Oh, Bill gets his nut sack chucked onto the guardrail. High angle Germans by Trent. Very beautiful. Half and half. That was nice. Choke slam on the apron by Bill to Trent. Don't like the apron moves. They, they're so li little impact. Uh, Soulful half and half by best friends to Bill. Bossman slam by Bill was very nice. Double team by Bill and Moriarty gets two count. Suplex to Bill by Best Friends gets two count. I want to say that says famous, sir. By all favourites. Everybody hits their favourites. A huge choke slam by Bill for the finish of the match. Bill and Moriarty win. I won the Bill man of the match. Very striking, opposing character. Uh, five moments. So I had a booker, a booker five times, five times. After the match, Bill stops the Lucha Brothers. Oh, Bill slaps the Lucha Brothers and everybody brawls. Orange comes out. Cage and the Embassy come out. Keith Lee and I come out. Swerve come out. Very good ending. Nice high energy. So, uh, yeah, it was pretty good from Dynamite and Rampage. Uh, obviously, going into a 
major pay per view, which always falls on the bank holiday for my for my birthday, which is happy days. But this year I'm celebrating forty. Whoop whoop! Today actually, in fact. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go and have five minutes, and I'm gonna be back to talk about Double or Nothing 2023. Peace. So now I'm gonna run through Double or Nothing, starting off with a buy-in, which was uh, the Asp Boyles and Egon Page versus the Hardys and Hook. Um, it was a pretty good match as well. It's good for an opener. Uh, we've had better in the past, but yeah, reasonably good. Um, Isaiah comes down with a bling neck collar. That looked pretty funny. Uh, Hardy Hook clear the ring. Power slam by Egon. Uh, Austin dive through the corner into the post was sick. Uh, scoop power slam by Hook. Side effects by everybody. Uh, to everybody, sorry, by Matt Hardy. Uh, neck brace pulled off Isaiah on the outside. Hardy goes for tie. What? Hardy going for something, pulled off the apron. Good spot. Uh, old school. Jeff run of moves. Jeff crumpled in a corner, going for the Wisp and a Willow. A Wisp. Uh, willow. Wi ah. Willow and wi wi Wisp and a Willow. I can't remember what it's called. Wisp and Wind. Wisp wis wis and Willow. 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 Wind. 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 Something like that. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if that was actually a planned spot or if it, that was a genuine fall. If it was a genuine fall, he looked as though he fell. Reasonably safe, but could have been a lot worse if it was actually genuine. Uh, Jeff's then hobbling. Ass boys double team. Side effect. Jeff Swanton for the save. Uh, cutters by the Hardys. Hook hits the red room for the finish of the match. Hope Jeff's all right, because he did look a little bit dazed towards the end of the match, in a sense. Not like dazed in his mind, but kind of dazed as in, like, fuck, I'm uh, Four moments. I went with Hook man of the match. Very good. A very nice, very evil. That was the only match that was on the buy-in. Uh, the buy-in was pretty good, actually. It was quite informative. Um, but, yeah, just as it was finishing, um, there was the Owen Hart Foundation opening ceremony. Tony Khan dressed like a gangster, um, saying about how the tournament's going to proceed on collision in Canada. Then all the men formed the 21 Battle Royal, which started, opened, uh, started the opening match for Double or Nothing, the main show. With best friends, Bandido, Varsity Athletes, Bill and Moriarty, uh, Commander, Butter and Blade and Kip, Juice and Jay, Dustin Keith Lee, Starks, Lucha Brothers, Bullet Club, and Swerve. BC, BC and Swerve. BC, BC, can't think of who that is. I'm a bell end. And Orange Cassidy. Um, yeah, another great match this was. Reasonably high number. Uh, Commander, Tightrope Dive. Heavy landing, knees thrown out the ring. Phoenix kicks Davari off the apron. Uh, German to both Lucha Brothers by Cage. Cage dumping two guys out. Commander out. Kip out. Chuck out. Blade out. Scoop slammed Keith Lee uh, by Keith Lee to swerve. Butch out. Bandido out. Moriarty out. Uh, Trent saves Orange. And then Trent gets knocked out. Keith Lee gets knocked out by BC. Brian Cage, that's who BC is. Uh, Penta knocks Phoenix out. Stax takes out Juice. Stax spear brutal to Jay. Jay then gets knocked out. Ricky into the guardrail. Stax out by Bill's boots. Swerve eliminates Dustin. Backstabber by Penta. Bill takes out Penta. Bossman slammed to Orange by Bill. That was nice. Swerve and Orange left. Uh, sick back and forth by these two guys. Uh, great chemistry by them. Uh, Death Valley Driver stomp by Swerve uh, Double stomp by Swerve, not Death Valley Driver mm -hmm. uh, DDT times 2 by Orange Orange kicks uh, the alarm the, the arm of Swerve to eliminate him from the ring As he's like teetering over the edge Ready to fall Nice finish, 7 moments I won with Big Bill Man of the match Next up we had the unsanctioned match Between Jericho and Adam Cole Thought this was a little bit early on in the match But they didn't make too much hype of this So it was okay uh, it was a good match though. Uh, Sabu and Jericho have a bit of a chair off early on. Sabu off the top through a table to 2.0 or one of. Everybody leaves and then the match kind of then starts. Uh, dodgy throughout the ring to Jericho. Almost lands on the top of his head. Uh, suplex, suplex off the apron by Jericho. Cole gets chucked into the steps. Jericho into the chair. Uh, Jericho goes for the lion salt and Cole kicks him. 
Upside Down, Boston Crab by Jericho, not the Lion Tamer, or whatever they're calling it now, it's a fucking Boston. Uh, Fire Extinguisher, terrible spot by Adam Cole, trying to drag it up and he didn't have enough strength in his puny baby arms to lift it into the ring, so Jericho has to pull him and the Extinguisher back into the ring. Uh, terrible spot. Jericho sprays Cole with the Extinguisher and then sprays it on the air, great spot. Uh, Brick comes out, hits uh, with a kendo stick and hits the shit out of Jericho. Soraya comes out, it's a shit out of Soraya. Backstabber with a kendo stick by Adam Cole. Chair to Adam Cole, falls off the top uh, through the table set up on the outside and basically misses it completely. Well, he doesn't miss it completely because obviously the table breaks, but his momentum just slams him into the floor then. He doesn't really slow down. Uh, Jericho Jack gets a chain with the cuffs from underneath the ring. Uh, cuffs Cole. DDT on the chain by Adam Cole gets two counts and then he cuffs Jericho to the chain. Uh, Jericho trying to run, Cole pulls the chain and pulling his wrist back. That was quite cool. Uh, Panama Sunrise and the chain hits Jericho in the face as it whips around. He gets a two count. Jericho's bleeding at this point from his eye, which I think was actually from that uh, chain. The boom with the chain on the knee and then the hammer fists at Jericho. The match gets stopped by Aubrey F. Audrey, Aubrey Edwards, the ref, enforcer. Adam Cole wins. I don't know why the fuck it was stopped. It was a load of bullshit. Uh, and I give it, if I believe in right, nine moments. Yes, I did. Nine moments, and I went with Adam Cole, man of the match. So, yeah, pretty good match, man. Uh, next up, we had the ROH tag team titles between FTR and Jeff Jarrett and Lethal. Briscoe was the ref. <clears throat> Pretty great match this was. Good chemistry by all. Uh, back and forth by, uh, between Dax and Lethal. Very nice. Dax crossbody to both. FTR. Uh, long going for the double sharpshooters. And that gets evaded. Briscoe knocks down jo Jeff Jetta to try and stop him from cheating. Another tag. Low bridge to Cash. Briscoe stopped Double J using a chair on the outside. Cash gets chucked into the guardrail. Double J taking out Cash. And then uh, Cash's leg and then hits him with a figure four. Uh, Dax diving headbutt makes a save. That was quite nice. Uh, high angle Germans by Dax. Nice. Sheer drop brain buster by Dax. Gets a two count. Sanjay grabs the legs. Cash into the post off the apron. Superplex. And then a doomsday clothesline by FTR. Cash is holding his knee. Sanjay pulls Dax off the apron. Sanjay and Satnam get ejected from the ring. Uh, guitar to Briscoe by Double J going for whoever he was going for I can't remember big rig no ref 12 count it was a 12 count man 12 count that's a long time that's a long time to be counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 um, a guitar then to Aubrey by Karen the bitch uh, double lethal injection fuck you Karen chance which I was I was cheering along with that because I don't I don't see a place for Karen angle in uh, AEW uh, pile driver to lethal. Pile driver to lethal. But the door, double J. Belt to Dax by double J. Double J pushes Briscoe. Briscoe slaps double J. Big rig for the finish, even though it's now called the Shattered Dream again. Um, yeah, FDR win. FDR still ROH champions. I won the Dax man of the match. And I give it a book. Ah, five moments. They were memorable. Next up, we had a promo with Alex Stax. Uh, does the smell, smell the fat acting? He's trying to see who farted. Uh, then he gets attacked by the BCC, uh, the BCG, being the Bullet Group Gold. FTR make the save after they just finished their match. Next up, in a promo backstage. Uh, Jez and Soraya challenge Adam Cole and Brett. And then he gets a guy who tells them to stop doing whatever they're not actually doing. Uh, with a fireball, because he's a wizard, baby. Quite a nice spot as well. Next up, we had the ladder match for the TNT title between Cage and Wardlow. This was a pretty good match. Quite a high number. Uh, baseball slide to the ladder by... Baseball slide to the ladder by Cage. And then a dive by Cage. Wardlow chucks the ladder at him. Uh, tables are set up on the outside. Wardlow, Wardlow into the guardrail. Catapult into the ladder by Cage. Old school. Power slam by Wardlow. Spinning gorilla press. Uh, onto the ladder by Wardlow to Cage. That was nice. Luchasaurus comes out. Flatline off the ladder by Cage. 
Uh, Alabama, Alabama slam into the ladder to Cage. Swant on onto the ladder by Wardlow. Cage moves out the way. Al Anderson comes out. Uh, Wardlow jumps on the ladder and the ladder buckles. Uh, choke slam times two by Luchasaurus to uh, Wardlow. And bites Luchasaurus's what looks like the tip of his thumb off. Chair to Luchasaurus. Swant on to Luchasaurus through the tables off the ladder. That was sick. Al Anderson pushes... Cage off the ladder, Wardlow catches him in a powerbomb for the finish of the match, gets up and takes the belt. Uh, yeah, pretty good match. Wardlow man of the match, and I had eight moments in that match. A couple of matches left to go through. We had Tony Storm versus Jamie Hayter for the AEW women's title. We have an unfortunate new champion. Pretty of a poor match this was, but I think it's due to the fact that Hayter uh, being injured, this was a bit of a rush job to get something done. Uh, Hayton attacked on the entrance by the outcast, Hayton on into the guardrail, Hayton into the steps, they're working the arm. Brick comes out, attacks Soraya, knee choke slam by Hayter, spray to the eyes by Ruby, ass attack by Tony, uh, Sheeta comes out, Kendo to Ruby, Hayter into exposed turnbuckle, which I didn't, I when I first watched it I noticed it, but I couldn't remember what it was a second time. Uh, Storm Zero for the finish of the match, Hayter wins, I went with Tony man of the match. Um, yeah, it was a bit too much distraction going on this match. It was just far too much going on. But like I said, where Hayter was injured, I think they were genuinely trying to find a, a quick solution to actually make up what was going on. So, um, yeah, two moments. And like I said, Tony Stoham, man of the match. Next up, we had the acclaimed and Billy Gunn versus the House of Black for the trio's titles. There was no stipulation. The stipulation that they accepted is that we don't want no stipulation. Um, yeah, pretty good match this was. Malachi sits down, so does Bowens. Nice trip roll out of the ring by Max. Uh, taking out Buddy, I think it was. Combo by the acclaimed Sesame Timbers into the knee bar by Malachi Black. Crossbody into the guardrail. Death Valley driving onto the knee by Bowens. Meteora by Buddy to Bowens. Uh, Brody Cannonball gets a two count. Bowens super kicks to Buddy off the corner. Billy Hot Tag does all his moves, look great. Um, famous at the Brody after screaming, fuck you. Famous after saying, eat shit. And then the black kick finish, taking Billy out for the end of the match. Um, House of Black win, I won the Brody man of the match. Three moments. Next up, we had Tyre versus Jade for the TBS women's title. Um, this was an okay match. This um, this was uh, Jade with the, with a the rapper. Doing the new music and dancing on the way to the ring. I don't know who the rapper was. AK, AC, JC, BC, Lil, Lil Skimzy. Some, some fucking stupid name, probably. Um, tired off the top. Taking out Mark uh, to the outside. Slide in German by Taya. Gets a good pop from the crowd. Later grabs the leg. Very poor. She was being prompted by Taya and still got it wrong. Spinebuster by Jay gets a two count. Poor Blue Thunder Bomb by Taya. Jade spring into the lung bow by Taya. That looked wicked. They both just kind of like bounced off each other. Uh, curb stomp by Taya gets a two count. Spear by Taya. Titty boom by Taya gets a two count. Titty buster by Jade gets the finish. Um, I won with Taya man of the match. Jade wins. Three moments. After the match, Mark says Jade will wrestle anyone, anywhere. And guess what? Chris Datlander turns the fuck up. And I got to be fair. I'm buzzing. I've wanted Stat back for such a long time. She's such an awesome wrestler. She'll represent the TBS Championship much better. And it gets Jade off the fucking TV. Um, so, yeah. There's another match. Which basically goes like this. Statlander versus Jade. Squash match. Saturday Night Fever finish. Good. Fuck you, Jade. Go home. Bye-bye. Statlander, new champion. Happy fucking days. So, yeah. Nice to see, see Stat back, if you couldn't tell. So, um... Yeah, big up Chris Statlander and fuck Jade. Next up, we had the Four Pillars match for the AEW World Heavyweight title between MJF, Sammy G, Darby and Jungle Boy. Some cool entrances. Uh, Jungle Boy basically just had his standard I can't entertain people with anything that I do other than wrestling type entrance. Uh, Sammy G and Tay announced that they're pregnant. Darby video of him beating up MJF. Uh, asking Elvis to help him get rid of the body. Darby dressed in an Elvis suit and an NJF entrance. He sat on a pedestal seat and a women begging at his feet on the ramp as he makes his way to the ring. 
So getting into the match, huge number for this. Probably not the highest number I've ever had, but a huge number. Uh, MJF rolls out the ring. Uh, letting the others hunt him. Then they beat down on MJF. Dropkick. Spot between the three. While MJF's outside. Jungle Boy double arm drags were nice. MJF doing his strut. Uh, dive by Derby. Jungle Boy dive. Times three. One to Derby with Stiff. Uh, Sammy G going for the shooting star to the outside. Multi-stack. Into MJF, uh, where one does the other, one does the other, uh, and it was a power bind by Jungle Boy, suplex by Sammy or someone like that. Into MJF, but that was cool though. Uh, Poison Armor by Jungle Boy was sick. Flipping Stunner, side headlock by Darby was cool. Oh no, Flipping, flipping Stunner, then a side headlock, take down to MJF, gets two count. Darby dive to Sammy G, hits a, but Sammy G hits a cutter. Uh, and then he takes out MJF with a Spanish fly to the outside. That was sick. Uh, dive at ring. Shooting star to MJF gets two count. Uh, the knee power bomb by MJF was brutal as fuck. Pump handle pile driver to Derby by MJF gets two count. That was sick. Everyone hit in the kick. Some sort of a kick. Uh, Scorpion death drop by Derby. Everyone hitting their mentors moves. MJF on the mic tells Sammy to lay down as he's having a baby, blah, blah, blah. Sammy says, yeah, okay, but then he hits him with a small package. Gets two count. Boston Crab by Sammy G. Scorpion Deathlock by Darby. Figure four to Darby. An armbar to Darby. An, an, an ankle lock to MJF and a headlock to Jungle Boy in a four-way submission move. That was quite nice. Uh, Darby counted to MJF into a Canadian. And then hits ev everyone hits a Canadian. Tiger Driver, Tiger Driver by Jungle Boy gets a two count. Double clothesline to Jungle Boy. Plus MJF over the guardrail. Hits his head on the floor as he goes over because he didn't protect himself when he got both his arms up. It was a bit silly, really. Uh, too many code reds. Awesome bomb by MJF off of top. Look wicked. Jungle Boy. Something everyone. Pinning everyone. Gets two count because he's desperate as fuck and that's the only entertaining thing he can do. Uh, cut it off a ropes by Sammy G to Jungle Boy. That was nice. Low boy blow by MJF. Skateboard to MJF. Coffin drop to MJF. Well, not MJF. MJF's face. Uh, headlock takedown gets two count for Derby. Title bay belt to Jungle Boy. Uh, title belt in Jungle Boy's hands, but he can use it. Uh, Should have because then MJF takes advantage. Derby gets a pin. Uh, two count. GTH by Sammy to Jungle Boy. So Jungle Boy is pretty much out of it. Darby goes for the coffin drop. MJF puts a belt on top of Jungle Boy. Darby hits the belt. Game over. End of match. Brilliant finish. Never seen that type of finish before. Um, absolutely sick. Everybody was a man in match. There was no single man in this. It was just incredible. 25 moments. 25 memorable moments in this match. So, um, yeah. Absolutely smashes the main event out of the water like but talking about the main event, we are now going to move on to Anarchy in, the Anarchy in the Arena match, which was the Elite versus the BCC. Uh, it was an okay match, this was. There's been better things in AEW. Um, some guy is singing Wild Thing over and over and over and over and over and making a right fuck-up job of it. Uh, they're called Violent Eyelids or something like that. Uh, fighting in the crowd, Brian Anderson slid down the handrail and then hit with a bin at the bottom. Rick knocks his bleeding somehow. Hangman takes off the eye patch. Four man dive by the elite. Going either way in the ropes. That was nice. Northern lights down a ramp by Utah. Uh, to Utah by Matt Jackson. Power bomb into onto the apron by Hangman. Power bomb onto the apron by to Hangman. Hangman hits. I don't know what that says. Mox is bleeding. Hangman kicks Omega by accident. Omega into the poker chip. Then there's barbed wire on the back of the poker chip. Mox is suplexed into that. Big swing. Up in the concession stand. And he gets launched into the bin by Claudio. Mox attra attacks Omega with a fork. Uh, Miss barbed wire. Chip spot. The camera doesn't catch it at all. And then they have to show it on replay. So anyway you get to see it. Everybody's bleeding. Dave. Uh, pile driver in. The pickup truck by Claudio. To Matt. Nick off the stage. Dead eye on the apron. Captain Omega. A bit with a bin lid. Where he's. Like looking like he's a superhero. Uh, exploding super kick mat 
by Matt when he comes back from outside to Mox. That was cool. Barefoot into the thumbtacks by Matt Jackson. That was fucking mental. Thumbtacks in Matt's mouth and in a European uppercut by Claudio. Dead Eye won it. Winged Angel by Hangman and Omega. Gets a two count. And then Takeshita takes Omega out. Yuta makes the pin for the finish of the match. Um, like I said, it was an okay match. It was just fucking carnage, to be honest. It was, a, it was very hard to note on. Um, it was entertaining, though. I'm not going to say the least. I, I sat there and watched it all, like, you know. Um, Omega Man of the Match, and I give it eight moments. After the match, Don Callis is choking Omega. Um, but, yeah, not the best main event. There have been better ones in the past. Uh, but, nonetheless, an absolutely fantastic Double or Nothing 2023 by AEW. So, uh, if any of you haven't seen that, go and check it out on Fight TV, Bleacher Report, or whatever else, you can go check it out. Uh, you'll probably be able to find it on YouTube somewhere at the moment until it's taken down. Um, but, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Thank you for sharing. Thank you, anybody who has helped us do this blog. Uh, we'll be back next week with the episode of 207, I think. Hopefully, Doors will be back um, and up and running, literally. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, peace. And uh, catch you next week. Bye.